Hi, hon. Have a good day at school. Don't forget your volleyball. So we had the talk last night. And this is kind of a testimonial to Barry Ebert and his class, Love and Logic. Barry has a class that he gives for four weeks and he teaches parents how to communicate better with their teenagers. And I had the talk with my daughter last night and it went over really well. So well that I decided I had to give a video testimonial to Barry and to have the talk with you because that's how well it went. So, I'm gonna have the talk with you right now. You're going into high school next year and I've heard from the people that were in the class that kids at this age, at 13 years old, are already experimenting with drugs. And I know that you're an adventurous person and you're curious and so I was just wondering you know is that something you might be considering experimenting with yourself yes no maybe whatever the answer is well um, if the federal government can't prevent Americans from doing drugs I certainly am not going to be able to prevent you from having drugs so I just wanted you to know what your choices are when you do experiment with drugs. <clears throat> because a lot of people experiment with drugs. Some people take it too far because it affects the brain. Are you aware that drugs affects your brain? Yeah. Well, I know you've got a healthy brain right now and uh, we know that the human brain doesn't fully develop until at least the age 21. That's why we have that age limit set here. And so, um, you know, I wouldn't want you to damage your healthy brain. But if you do decide to experiment with drugs and it affects your brain to the point where you end up in a rehabilitation center or in the hospital, how much of the family money would you expect us to pay to help you to get better? The answer is zero. We're gonna spend zero money to help you to get out of rehabilitation center or a hospital because <clears throat> that's a decision that you made. And there's been plenty of families who have gone completely bankrupt and. It, and one family member has affected everyone's well-being because they made bad choices. And so that's why we set that extra. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was bad. Dropped the phone. Uh, that's why we set that expectation. So when I had this talk with her yesterday, it was incredible. She... She totally accepted it, understood it. And you know that saying when you treat somebody like an adult, they act like an adult? Well, so basically the same thing applies to curfew and to sex. So last night when it came to the allowance because you know, if they find themselves in a bad situation, they have to pay for it too. Then she wanted to learn, you know, earn some more money. So she did some more chores around the house after we had that talk. I couldn't believe it. And I just had to tell Barry Ebert, thank you for the love and logic parenting class. I'm much better because of it. I thought I was doing everything right. Oh, there's a cop car behind me. Can you see that? Maybe coincidence, maybe not. I'm going to say goodbye because this is distracted driving and uh, I don't want to end up in a rehabilitation center.